in what we refer to as the glide phase. You see, our system is capable of acting like a capsule when that's most beneficial and acting like a glider when that's most beneficial. Now, MCC's in my ear, they're telling us we're one minute away from release. Our next set and our last set of checks before release are L minus 30, that's 30 seconds to release, and Spaceship Unity pilots will arm the launch pylon, and once we get to that designated launch point, the mothership pilots will engage the release, setting Unity free. Meanwhile, the spaceship pilots will push forward on the stick all the way, preparing for a release. We're now approximately 20 seconds from release. Ten. Five. Three, two, one, release, release, release. Ignition. Good control. Trimming, that's turning, pulling the nose up. And trim is set. We're now traveling at approximately Mach 1.4. There's max Q, that's the maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Those on board are experiencing about three Gs at the moment. The trim is complete and Unity is in the vertical headed toward space. Mach 2. Mach 2.8, rocket motor cutoff. Amazing. All right. Predicted apogee today is 275,000 feet. That's 84.3 kilometers. Incredible. Our mission specialists have been cleared to unstrap and enjoy the zero-G experience. This is amazing. This, what you're seeing is uh, Colonel Villa Day going to the back to tend to the payloads that are mounted on the rack. You can see Landolfi and Leo starting their experiments in their seat and having, looks like, a great time, <laughs> of course. Yep. The feather is moving, as you can see. Starting that backflip maneuver I spoke of, the feather is now fully up. Amazing.